I am so excited and so proud to welcome our vice presidential candidate, soon to be nominee for vice president, Command Master Sergeant, I'm going to start with the title that is very important to me, the Command Sergeant Major, Governor Tim Waltz of, the, of Minnesota, a very well beloved governor, and he's also the state champion, yes, state champion football coach, and now our joyful warrior. Please welcome Governor Tim Wolf of Minnesota. Thank you. Uh, well, Tim Walls is gonna be the first Chinese vice president of our country. Uh, when, when he broke out in Mandarin with me like five years ago, my jaw dropped. I said, really? We know that the guy who's running against our standard bearer, Kamala Harris and Tim Wallace. I think, I think we also all know that Latino and African American communities were most impacted by the pandemic and by the impact of inflation. Um, and many of them have reported to us that they are under financial duress as a result of that. And so we're working hard to try to make sure that those families can get back on track. That's really the, 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 the biggest challenge. A lot of families are living paycheck to paycheck. They um, did not have savings in order to be able to weather a downturn in the economy. And as a result, um, they're, they're feeling pain. We have been working for years to get the Democratic National Committee to do micro-ethnic identification on the voter list, where we don't have to choose between a secure and orderly border and creating new pathways for citizenship. We can and will do both. I hear these guys say, going to make America great. It's already great. We're doing pretty damn good. We're going to jump right into the land acknowledgement. Um, uh, the Democratic National Committee wishes to acknowledge that we gather together to state our values on lands that have been stewarded through many, gen many centuries by the ancestors and descendants of tribal nations who have been here since time immemorial. We honor the communities native to this continent and recognize that our country was built on indigenous homelands. We pay our respects to the millions of indigenous people throughout history who have protected our lands, water, and animals. While we meet in Chicago, we also recognize and honor the traditional homelands of the Anishinaabe, also known as the Council of the Three Fires, Ojibwe, Ottawa, and Potawatomi nations. We acknowledge the many other tribes who consider this area their traditional homeland, including the Miamia, Ho-Chunk, Menominee, Sac and Fox, Peoria, Kas, Kaskia, Wea, Kickapoo, and Muscatan, Mas, Mascotan. Uh, Democrat, uh, let's see, and I believe that is, that is our land acknowledgement. Madzigirads Nakbago'o. Thank you. First, let me just say, as a, I, I strongly um, believe and, and take very seriously that that we must acknowledge that the government of the United States stole land, took land from the tribes, and that there must be a restoration of that ownership for those lands that were possessed by the tribes. So that is a value I hold very dearly and, and very strongly. 